When President Obama made his historic visit to Vietnam last month, human rights were an important item on his agenda. It was also an opportunity for those few who dare to challenge the Communist Party to have their voices heard and perhaps to meet Mr. Obama. But the Vietnamese authorities in the end made very few concessions to their famous American guest. Only one single political prisoner was released in advance of Mr. Obama's arrival. And when he tried to meet some of those dissidents, well, a number of them were barred from going to that meeting. For foreign journalists like us, when we were there, it is extremely difficult to get to meet or talk to any dissident figures. But we have managed to speak to one woman, one of six who were detained at the time, a woman called Nancy Nguyen. Now, she'd flown to Vietnam from the United States, where her family settled 16 years ago, to show her dissatisfaction with the government. She was held for a week and then expelled. We spoke to her en route back home to the United States. They just came to my hotels at about 11 at night and uh, temporarily just capture me without having any, uh, no warrants or nothing. It's just like kidnapping. Well, there's nothing really I can go, can do. Well, there was about 10 of them and just one me. I knew, I knew ahead of time that I would be arrested. Um, so my plan actually is just try to make that, uh, make use of that and make the most out of it. Basically, it, it's, a, it's a bilateral kind of relationship where um, they interrogate me and at the same time they gotta have to feed me with information um, in order to make me talk. Uh, they was polite to me in terms of uh, physically abuses, there wasn't any. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they give you a lot of uh, warning say, uh, you know, don't even expect any help from the outside, don't even expect any help from the government, uh, the U.S. government. No one can do anything. You are here with us now, just you and I, us. And uh, you're the only person who can help you out. If you are not going to cooperate, then you're probably going to stay here forever. And if you cooperate, you're going to get out here then tomorrow. Nancy Nguyen's ordeal was not particularly heavy, and she knows it could have been a whole lot worse had she not been an American citizen. Among the dozens of political prisoners being held in jail in Vietnam, some are serving sentences of many years.